Hello developers, welcome back. Uh, now in this tutorial I'm going to show you how we can uh, get our dashboard left and top panel back and how we can pass the logged in user uh, details in our Vue.js. Currently we don't have any access to our Vue, uh, logged in user in our Vue.js. So let's go ahead and pass this user into our Vue.js application and then we will try to use it from the store and everywhere, okay? if we require it okay let's go ahead and uh, do that so since it's a VJS um, it's, it's a blade file so we have all the access to the Laravel world so we can do anything uh, whatever we want uh, in the Laravel application because it's inside the Laravel now we will have to pass the user we can do in many ways you can have a global window object of your user and that window um, window object you can access in your VJS application from anywhere but I don't want to pass that uh, window object from uh, the VJS uh, from uh, uh, globally defined. So instead, I will try to pass this uh, using our uh, component, and then we will try to access it from the store. Okay, so that's uh, what I'm going to do. Okay, so we, since we have the Laravel uh, access here, we can do a, an all check here. So all check, and then we can pass uh, this component here. And then our else, what we can do is that we can pass uh, any other component here, and then maybe we can in the uh, if condition here. Okay, so here how what we will be passing? We will pass uh, user props. So this props data uh, props. If you don't know what is prop, uh, then I would say prop is uh, a kind of data, uh, uh, a kind of a data which we can pass through a component tag so if we are giving an user it's a dynamic one and then we will be able to access it uh, from this uh, component okay let's see how we can do that now uh, inside the blade file we can pass our uh, both user like this and then the same way if we do if you are not logged in we can pass okay uh, we don't have any user so we can simply pass false here so that should be fine and let's go ahead and check it Perfect. So if we do the page refresh, you will see the user here have been passed as the interior object here. Okay. And then uh, we should be able to access it in our props. So let's write a props here and then uh, the props name, let's call it user. And then we can uh, access it here. Let's say console.log this.user. Okay. Let's see what we see here. Perfect. So you see, we have the access to the user uh, in our com uh, created. Okay, that's perfect. Now let's update this user in our store. Uh, let's update it. This dot store dot commit update user, and then this pass the data here. Okay, so we 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 should have a mutation here. Uh, we should say <clears throat> okay let's call it user and we will have an object here as well user false so we can have a getter here logged in or we can access it directly yeah <clears throat> we can access it directly now so we have passed uh, the user here and we should be able to access our Vuex and now here you see we have a condition here we can see uh, store dot state dot user so if you have a user here uh, we should be able to uh, show it uh, if we have a user now Perfect. So our menu is back now. So that's really cool, awesome. And um, now let's have a nice route that says logout at the end. Okay. Logout. And we cannot have a um, route link like this. So instead, we have to have a href 
to log out you have to keep in mind router link does not refresh so we have to have an href here perfect so we have a logout button at the end now perfect you see we have a logout button seems really cool now if we do a logout we should be able to go back to the login page okay now if we come back again and try to access this page we should be we should get back to this page again now it's perfect now one thing we have to do is now is that <clears throat> if you are logging let's go to our login page and if you are logging we should say window dot location we should redirect you to this page so let's go ahead then log out and log in again perfect so it's awesome now we have a complete access control of uh, the authenticated user no one else uh, will be able to access it okay now in the next video you see we have uh, uh, api routes here uh, you see it's not uh, completely done yet so we, what do we have to do we have to protect our uh, all of these routes here you see anyone can uh, get access to these things and can easily get this data or make any crude application from outside world so we will be protecting those things uh, using uh, middleware so in the next video i will uh, implement middleware in our project so that only admin and the editor uh, whatever the user types we want will be able to access our uh, api routes okay uh, they cannot access our dashboard anyway whatever uh, anywhere they want so that's really uh, cute okay and then maybe in the next uh, uh, after the next video we All will right. try to implement okay uh, editor cannot access um, admin user editor cannot access dashboard instead editor can access tag and category we will try to implement those things as you go okay thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you uh, have any question go ahead in our facebook group ask your question i will try to answer as much as i can and please subscribe like comment and share this video as much as you can because this is how we will be able to grow and i will try to come up with more production really uh, real world project uh, for you guys because uh, I don't like to uh, build a normal application just uh, to do so yeah I like building a real world project based application with uh, as much things implemented as possible uh, okay so yeah in future uh, if you guys are really interested in uh, advanced uh, Laravel with like services providers jobs um, Kiwi so all, all those other things let me know I can try to have a master course on it and thank you guys and yeah give your feedback how i can improve my videos and uh, conversation in the video as well okay thank you